Josh here, Wargaming Noob Historical, with my first instructional video coming out of the channel. Today I'm going to talk about Black Powder and building your first brigade. So Black Powder is a good entry point into Napoleonic Wargaming. The rules themselves are very simple and easy to catch on. Uh, one of the easiest things to do is your army building or list building for Black Powder. So we're going to go through the most simplest uh, form of building your first brigade. Again, this is aimed at newbies or new players to Napoleonics and specifically Black Powder. If you are a veteran player of Black Powder, this might not apply to you or would be useful to you. But for anybody who's entering into uh, Black Powder or wanting to get into Napoleonics and choosing Black Powder as their entry point, this is the best and easiest way to build your first brigade. All right, so brigade building basics. It's, it's as simple as this. You need one brigade commander and three to six units. So in that brigade, you're going to have a brigade commander. And then you're going to have a mix of units with a minimum of three up to a maximum of six. So these units will consist of artillery, cavalry, different line battalions, stuff like that. That is basically how you build your first brigade. Now, uh, when you're moving on from your first brigade and going into the divisional and then to your, like, army level, uh, which is basically going to be pretty huge for Black Powder, you want to follow this rule. So, you're going to have an overarching general that will basically be there to help affect uh, dice rolls for a specific brigade or within a specific range in, in the game. You're going to have a breakdown of at least three brigades for a division. So, you're going to have one brigade commander... It has three to six units of whatever you have, artillery, cavalry, line battalions. And then you'll have another brigade commander. Maybe you want to specialize that brigade into cavalry or into artillery. And then again, you rinse and repeat until you have a full uh, division. And then from there, and the whole army as you uh, gather up a number of divisions. We're going to use the Waterloo two-player starter as an example of how to set up your first brigade. If you are coming into Black Powder, you most likely purchase the Waterloo two-player starter. That way you split it with your buddy or, you know, in fact, just uh, get into both uh, both the French and the British. So for the French, you have one foot brigade commander. You have two line battalions. And initially you have an entire regiment of uh, Le Chasseur à Cheval, the light cavalry. But in terms of the quick start rules for Waterloo, they have you split that regiment into two half squadrons. Uh, and we're going to talk about why they did that uh, for this two-player starter. For the British, it's a little bit different. You have your foot brigade commander. You have three line battalions. That's two British line infantry battalions and one Hanoverian line infantry battalion. And then artillery piece, which will be the, the fourth unit in this very small brigade. Now, artillery is interesting because an artillery battery in the rules, at minimum, two artillery pieces, at the most, I think, three or more artillery pieces. So, because this is an entry-level product, they only give you one artillery piece, and they will consider that a full battery, but in terms of the rules, that would be half battery. So, going back to the French... The reason why they split the Chasseur Archival into two squadrons is because they wanted to make it an equal number of units for anybody who is entering the game play using the Waterloo two-player starter. So now you have four units of French and four units of British uh, and their you know respective commanders. So again, very simple, very easy building a brigade, especially using the Waterloo two-player starter will get you into that um, that point. So a very simple and easy way to break into the game and creating your first brigade. Now, if you are moving beyond the Waterloo two-player starter and you're playing the Prussians or the Russians or the Austrians or any, even one of the smaller nations, you're going to still use this as a guide where you will have one brigade commander and then three to six units. So regardless of which nation you're going to play, use this as your guide to create your first brigade. And then from there... Multiply that by three to create your first division with an overarching general. And then beyond that, um, the sky's the limit. So, all right. It's that simple. 
that's how you build a brigade. Uh, again, this video is aimed at the new player entering Black Powder and Napoleonics in general. The rules for Black Powder are easy to pick up, and the army building is even simpler uh, if, if you follow this uh, infographic here. So, yeah. All right, following on from the explainer I did earlier, this is how you build your first brigade for Warlord Games Black Powder. Always good to have the rule book, uh, whether it's this A5 size rule book or the hardback. It does have the basic rules for building your army out at the brigade level and then, uh, you know, from there, up from there. Uh, also good to have a campaign book. Uh, I know this one's specifically for Epic, but it can be applied to your 28 millimeter figures uh, as well. So uh, the reason why you want to have a campaign book, if you are building a historically accurate brigade or division uh, or, you know, an entire army, you want to have the specific campaign book that you want to play uh, because it'll have um, special rules based on the commanders, the generals, as well as the time period of uh, the Napoleonic Wars in this specific case. So with that said, in the back, you see I, I have the French from the uh, Waterloo two-player starter. You are given two line battalions, a general, as well as one regiment or squadron of uh, Chasseurs à Cheval. The way they have it built out, um, you have uh, a total of three units and your general or your officer for this brigade. But again, as the rules state, a minimum size brigade is three units and uh, its commanding officer up to six units. So in the case of Waterloo, because the British actually have four units, um, if you build it out the way it is in the two player starter, to compensate for that, the French um, split up the regiment of Chasseur à Cheval into two squadrons, as you can see there. And now you have a matching uh, brigade for the Waterloo two-player starter. Again, this is specific to the Waterloo two-player starter. If you are building your own brigade, you um, can make uh, specialized brigades uh, in terms of building out your army. Uh, again, this is for beginners. Using the Waterloo two-player starter as an example, uh, this particular uh, brigade now has four units and its commanding officer there. If you are building up from Waterloo, uh, it's not a bad idea to get uh, a few more items that would make your make your brigade more resilient. In fact, if you wanted to, uh, you could add artillery piece. Uh, in terms of the rules for black powder, one artillery piece can be an entire unit or it could be a half or a third of a unit. Uh, it just depends on how you want to play your brigade out. Black powder rules are very easy and simple and are meant to get players into the game as quickly as possible uh, with very simple uh, rules. So it's up to you and your opponent how you want to field artillery as whether, for example, this being an entire uh, unit or half a battery for half a unit. So let's say now that we've built it out to uh, five units in the brigade, um, you can add one more. And let's say I wanted to add another artillery piece. So there we go. That is a six unit uh, strong brigade. Um, but you know, if anything, uh, you want to build your brigades out um, specialize. Let's say you want to do an entirely an entire cavalry brigade. You can do that, or you can just do line battalions and then um, supported by artillery. You can do that. There are just many different ways of building out your brigade. This is the most simple and easy way to do that. And that is how you build your first brigade for black powder. Uh, again, very uh, easy game to learn an even easier way to build your armies, your do your list building. Uh, just follow that guide and you should be okay. So anyway, if you like this video and you enjoyed this infographic and you found it helpful, go ahead and click like on the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. 
click the bell notification icon to get notified all new instructional videos coming out of the channel and then click the link in the description below to join our discord server that's the best way i could personally interact with you and chit chat you about black powder and any other game i play on the channel that's it thanks for watching stay tuned for more instructional videos for more gaming noob historical